Hey, so if you need to take one of your components out of your assembly design and save them out or export them out, there's a few options to be aware of. Here we go. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today we're talking about save as and export. So let's look at it. When I go activate one of these components, I have three different components in one design. If I go look at the project file, you can see the assembly that they all live in. It's one design file. What I'd like to do is take this top component, which has a couple sketches and a couple features, and I'd like to save it out. Now, the options I get with a right click, save copy as, save STL, and export. Let's do STL first. That is saving it out as a effectively triangle mesh that um, you're probably familiar with when it comes to 3D printing. And from that STL file, you can take it and do a mesh refinement, work with the mesh workspace if you want to in Fusion. Um, would not recommend that if uh, you plan to do any more modeling, any more CAD modeling, parametric modeling, all of that basically goes away when, you're, when it comes to an STL. So kind of a different topic for today. Let's try to preserve the structure of the geometry. So what we do is a save, copy as, or an export. So as we're about to explore, when you do a save as or an export, both of these are going to remove any kind of references that it might have to the assembly. And what does that mean? That means that when I do a save copy as, which we're gonna explore what that means and what it's doing in just a minute, but I think it's important that you realize that once you've saved this out, the references that it's going to have to the assembly, if I were to come in and let's, so let's do a very basic test here. I'm gonna stretch this face. Okay, just modified it, awesome, very cool. Now, if we go look at this component that was saved based on what was done in the assembly, it has no reference to this assembly file, but it will have the history of the design that you created. So let's now explore, save as, and export. Let's just save, copy as. First thing, there's no real uh, questions <laughs> other than what do you want the new name to be? And then where's it going? And it's effectively looking into the same project folder that it is. And this is getting saved immediately into your project folder. You can think into your cloud data. And this new file gets created. And if I double click on it, it's going to load it. And let's examine it real quick. First thing I want to note is the original sketches and features are preserved. It did reference another part. And the space feature is absolutely there because I referenced some of the other components that it was touching. So if you go kind of examine those, um, it was touching this base component here, middle component. And if I throw in a cylinder that's not referencing or touching anything else and then save that out, you'll notice that uh, it only grabs its sketch and features that it related to. It doesn't grab those other base features that if, if they're not referenced or, you know, touching maybe is one way to think of that. Let's get rid of this. Cool. So the important things is it is keeping the history tree of that model. This is a Fusion 3D file that can go into other designs if we want it to, and we can continue to work on it. We could even move it out of this folder into others if that be helpful for file management. Now, looking at the next part of this, if we were to activate the top again and export. So if we right click, choose export, how is this different? It's very similar. First thing is if you were to save this right to the project cloud or right to the project file, it's effectively the same thing as a save copy as. I think there's nothing I've found that they are different just yet. Um, it's saving, it's forcing you to do a Fusion 3D file you have to give it a name and it drops it in. It keeps the file references. Now, I think that's there just for convenience for users. If we turn that off and we go to save to my computer, very different. This is saving it locally out on your computer somewhere. You specify the location, the desktop, things like that. I'm going to export this, the top component. We export it out to the desktop. You can see it does not come into the project file manager into my cloud drive. So what I'll have to do is upload it. If I select the files, bring that in, it's, it's referencing this Fusion 3D file. 
it comes in as the top component. So it does keep the history tree, very cool. It's effectively the same thing as the save copy as. So I can save this locally to my hard drive and that gives me some other flexibilities to work with. Now, one thing that I kind of skipped over very quickly was when we're working with the assembly, if I go to export, you'll notice that we're saving it to the computer locally. And again, we can, of course, specify where it goes, but what about the file types? Fusion 3D is great if you're gonna wanna keep that file history, the design history of how it's being built, but that's not very friendly when it comes to working with other systems out there. Fusion 3D file, I'm not aware of many applications out there that can open a Fusion 3D file. In fact, a quick Google search shows me that only Fusion can open this type of file. So that's friendly for going forward in Fusion. So if you wanna get this to other systems out there, SolidWorks, Inventor, Cam, Simulation, IGIS and STEP are going to be much better to work with in saving out, especially when the Fusion 3D file cannot be opened by anything. But hey, thanks for watching. Check out this beginner playlist I made for you or this other video that YouTube thinks will be helpful. See you in the next video.